LeBron will be joined in the starting five with Kevin Durant, I'm assuming the first pick, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, and Kyrie Irving. Yep, LeBron picked Kyrie. While Team Steph will have Giannis, Harden, Embiid, and DeRozan in its starting five. After seeing the rosters, Madeline, who you got, Team LeBron or Team Steph? I think Team LeBron is the better NBA team, but I think Team Steph is the better All-Star team. Because one thing you got to remember about the All-Star game is there's no defense in All-Star games. It's all offense, all scoring, all shooting, all highlight plays. Steph's got a bunch of shooters. He's got Giannis, which I think was his first pick because – and all-star games are played in transition. It went to Rant, Giannis, Davis. I, I, I would bet a lot. On I that. would bet a lot on that, too. But, I, I, you know, all-star plays in transition. Giannis plays his best in transition. He's got Steph and Harden in the same backcourt. Buckets, buckets, buckets. I, I think LeBron has a lot of size. There's going to be a lot of alley-oops and, you know, that kind of stuff. But Steph's got shooting. He's faster. He's smaller. Threes are worth more than twos. Steph's going to win this game. Well, I mean, that, that's the way the NBA is played a lot now. I mean, when Davis and DeMarcus Cousins came together, there was a lot of speculation on whether it could work. Maybe their pairing has worked a little bit better. It hasn't exactly lifted the Pelicans to great heights, of course, due to the rest of the roster. Um, I'm with you in a, a certain sense. I think people are sleeping on Steph's team a bit, as LeBron's starting five may actually be too big. But if you're just looking at top-heavy talent, I think Team LeBron has it because he's got four of the last five all-star game MVPs with Westbrook um, with, with uh, Chris Paul's the only one he doesn't have because he, he didn't make the team this year Anthony Davis on his squad as well and then he's got himself and, and Kevin Durant so LeBron James's team is is filthy loaded guys like Kyrie and Westbrook excel in the all-star game those point guards who, who can score because they're handling the ball so I, I think when you're looking at the top flight talent team LeBron's got it I agree I think LeBron's team passes the eye test but Steph's team's passes the stats Stats, analytical stats test. I mean, he's got 10 of the 25 real plus minus scores, the top 25 real plus minus scores. Team LeBron only has six. Go a little, go a little deep with the and numbers. You know there. what's hilarious? Go a little deep with the numbers. It's acting like either of these teams has some massive advantage. You know, Le LeBron it's an has Durant. It's he's an got Anthony game. Davis. Steph yeah. has Giannis. All <laughs> of these players are stupid good. They're going to be amazing to watch. It's going to be so much fun. I, I think All Star Weekend can't come soon, soon enough. I think it's already been a success, right? That yeah. it's generated a lot more interest, and and people are excited going into the game. And hopefully that translates with the players, right. where they play with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder this year realizing it had become a bit of a joke just how little defense was yeah. played the only L for the fans so far I think is that this whole draft happened on a conference call we got to get this televised next year that would be so fun to watch if there was some fun in the mystery of trying to you know right. go back and figure out how the draft went down but yeah I bet you you do see it televised next season yeah you